Hello everyone. I am Dr. Jeenam Shah. I am a consultant pulmonologist and allergy specialist working in Mumbai, India. Today we are going to be discussing about asthma treatments and the different type of inhalers available with us. Before starting the video, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon for regular updates. So when you talk about inhaler therapy, we discussed why inhaler therapy is the most important thing and why it does not cause any kind of side effects. Various kind of inhaler therapies are available. Three most common things which we use regularly are a dry powder inhaler, a metered dose inhaler and a nebulizer. The important thing is each of these works equally well. There is no superiority of one over the another. Only thing that you need to ensure is if you are taking it regularly with the correct technique and the correct dose, then all works equally well. So the first thing that we discuss about is a dry powder inhaler. Dry powder inhaler is a powdered form of the medicine which is put in a capsule and has to be inhaled. So the capsules can contain multiple uh, different drugs but there is a delivery device which is generally in the earlier times used to be known as a rota inhaler. But nowadays a lot of different devices like a revolizer, loopy inhaler or uh, eye breathe, many times of devices available. So what you do is you put it the capsule in that particular inhaler device and then you suck it. There is a technique for that. So all those medicines will get sucked into the respiratory system. The advantage is that it is very small and it is very portable. So you can carry it along everywhere, it doesn't require any kind of electricity. And uh, it is you know something that is very easily available and it is cheap. The only problem that can happen is uh, there can be some powdery deposition in the throat and you might have some kind of irritation in the throat and some infection in the throat. Second device that we will talk about today is the metered dose inhaler. Those are devices which you commonly see which are pumps which has to be sprayed. So what happens is if you put it in the mouth and you spray it and when you take a deep breath all those things goes inside the lungs. Again a very good device, only problem is that it requires a coordination. When you press it and then inhale it that has to be very coordinated then only the medicine will go proper inside the lungs. So to avoid this kind of problems we have something called as a spacer. So you attach that particular device into the spacer and then you inhale through the spacer. So the medicine is delivered pretty well. The advantage again it is not very bulky, it is you know relatively small, you can carry it along anywhere, it is not very expensive, it works really well for asthma. The third thing that we have is nebulizers. So nebulizers are machines which help the liquid form of that medicine to be evaporated into small mist form. So when you put that particular liquid into a nebulizer and then you inhale, when all those gaseous from the particles of that particular device goes inside the lungs and it has a very good effect. So nebulizers are also equally working well as a dry powder inhaler or a metered dose inhaler. Nebulizers are very important for people generally who are very very young, people who small children who cannot take that pump or cannot take that capsule. For them it is very important. For people who are not having good coordination of pressing it for elderly people generally who are not able to take it properly, for them also nebulizer work really well. And for people who are in severe asthma attack, for them it is difficult to you know take that pump. For them the nebulizer scores over other things. It is not that nebulizer is better over other things but nebulizers are almost equally efficacious. But the problem is that it is more expensive, it is not very handy, you cannot carry it along everywhere and it requires electricity. Only when you have an electricity you are able to use a nebulizer pretty well. But the important thing to understand is all those devices work equally well if you are using it correctly. So the next important point is do all inhalers contain the same medicine? The answer is no. There are different kind of medicines in that particular inhaler. Two broad subsets, one is a bronchodilator, another is an anti-inflammatory agent. Bronchodilators are agents which will open up the windpipe and anti-inflammatory agents are agents which decrease the swelling in the windpipe. Bronchodilators again can be short acting and long acting. Short acting are which works very fast, very quickly. Those are predominantly used in acute asthma, acute worsening of your symptoms. And the other one is long acting bronchodilators, which are controller medicines which work for a pretty long period of time. And the anti-inflammatory, which are predominantly the steroids, are also long acting, which works for a long period of time. So every medicine which you take is not the same. So you might uh, say that, you know, I've used the inhaler, I've not had any effect. But medicine contained in the inhalers are very, very different. So that is why you need to know them. Apart from the inhalers, there are other oral tablets also which we give for asthma, like a leukotriene uh, antagonist, which is used predominantly people who have allergic rhinitis along with asthma, which helps to control your allergies. Apart from that, oral bronchodilators like derifelin and other group of drugs are also used, astelin tablets sometimes in severe cases. And we need to control the comorbidities. Suppose you have allergic rhinitis, we give nasal sprays. Uh, apart from that, if you have acute worsening because of infection, then we give antibiotics and all those agents. So today we learned about uh, different types of inhalers, the different contents and the medicines which are available in the inhaler format. 
If you find this video informative, please share it with your friends, family, colleagues, near and dear ones, and especially for people who are suffering from it. Thank you.